Caitlin Clark was chosen as the top pick in the 2024 WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever. However, the esteemed guard was unable to fully savor the moment as she had hoped. Although the WNBA draft is usually a celebratory event for hopefuls, Caitlin Clark's experience was disappointingly devoid of joy. Chosen as the top pick by the Indiana Fever, Clark quickly left the crowd after her onstage appearance and handshake with WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert. In a Fresh Talk podcast interview, the disappointed athlete regretted not having enough time to connect with her inner circle after being drafted and expressed further disappointment for missing the rest of the draft. I was disappointed that I was immediately pulled away after being drafted and did not get to witness any of the draft, she recounted to her former Iowa Hawkeyes teammates Martin, Gabby Marshall, and Jada Gianfi. Particularly notable was her absence during Kate Martin's special moment. Clark, 22, shared insights on the mixed emotions she experienced during her draft process, highlighting the contradiction of feeling isolated from loved ones despite the traditional joy associated with such occasions. I refrained from taking photos with my family, including Connor McCaffrey, due to my frustration, Clark disclosed. Despite the challenge of being drafted away from loved ones, Clark maintained a positive attitude and continued to shine in her debut season. She rose to the occasion as the top overall draft pick and spearheaded the Fever's journey to the playoffs for the first time since 2016. The mirror reflects our reports. Furthermore, Debbie Antonelli, a basketball Hall of Famer, referred to Clark's WNBA entry as an economic disruption. Discussing the C.L. During the Brown Show, Antonelli, 60, discussed the impact of Clark's actions, stating, No one has disturbed the economic market and ecosystem in the same way she has, emphasizing the attention it has garnered from everyone. Antonelli emphasized the significance of the disruption as a catalyst for propelling the next phase forward. She also highlighted Clark's remarkable influence on fans throughout her interactions across the league. She emphasized the wide-ranging support for the fever phenomenon, pointing out that Clark's involvement marked a new era of progress in the WNBA. I observed a noticeable shift this summer in the league with regard to the number of. Antonelli emphasized his belief that the game of basketball is evolving at the grassroots level, with a diverse range of individuals, from little girls to college-aged guys, showing interest. Now, I think girls and women are playing more basketball because they're seeing more opportunities within the game," he added. Meanwhile, Clark has shifted her focus to other sports, such as golf, while taking a step back from basketball. She is preparing to participate in the esteemed Annika driven by Gamebridge Pro-Am tournament. The upcoming debut season of the groundbreaking basketball league is on the horizon, with the potential addition of some top-tier players to the already impressive lineup. Co-founded by WNBA star Brianna Stewart and four-time All-Star Nafisa Collier, this three-on-three league has the potential to transform the landscape of women's basketball. The games are set to begin in January, with all 36 initial players signed to the league promised a minimum six-figure salary. This has the potential to transform the WNBA offseason, as numerous players typically seek opportunities abroad to increase their earnings. There are six remaining spots on the roster, and Stewart and Collier have a plethora of options to choose from for ideal signings. Caitlin Clark, the recently crowned Rookie of the Year, had a remarkable debut season with the Indiana Fever. Clark made a significant impact in the league by guiding the Fever into the playoffs and breaking the single-season assists record. Despite initially planning to take a break after the WNBA season, the 22-year-old has shown a bit of a change in attitude after hearing about a potential offer likened to that of Lionel Messi. When asked about the possibility of joining Unrivaled, Clark responded, We will wait and see. I am uncertain. Just going with the flow for now and considering whether I want to participate in the future. As a prominent figure in the WNBA, Clark would be a highly anticipated player for the games in Miami. We will always reserve a spot on our roster for Caitlin Clark, declared Alex Basil, president of Unrivaled. We are not implementing an aggressive full-court press as commonly assumed. We are allowing her to unwind after her basketball activities. Fresh off her key role in securing the New York Liberty's first WNBA championship, Sabrina Ionescu is a highly sought-after addition for our team at Unrivaled. She is aware that a spot is reserved for her whenever she is prepared to join. At 26 years old, she proudly held the third highest-selling jersey in the league. Unrivaled expanding to 36 players could further boost her chances. Despite this, there is currently minimal buzz surrounding Ionescu potentially joining the 3v3 league. The reason for Liberty Star's absence may be attributed to a documented UCL injury sustained during the WNBA Finals. While Ionescu wishes for a quick recovery, it appears that Unrivaled presents a lucrative chance for all participants, as the league boasts the highest average salary in U.S. women's sports.
We have surpassed our financial expectations, allowing us to expand ahead of schedule and provide more opportunities to deserving players and unrivaled, co-founder Collier stated. Women's sports are currently experiencing a remarkable surge, and we are deeply appreciative of the support that has contributed to this success. Las Vegas Aces center A. Ja Wilson would be a significant loss if efforts to recruit the three-time WNBA MVP are unsuccessful. Wilson, age 28, has currently declined to participate in the inaugural season of Unrivaled. However, she might reconsider her position if Unrivaled presents an enticing offer. Interested? I'm not ruling it out entirely, as you never know. I will not be participating in the competition this year, stated Wilson. I believe this puts an end to the speculation that has been circulating about me. However, I am thrilled about the positive impact it is having on my teammates and the additional opportunities it is providing for players to compete and remain in the United States. However, I will not proceed with that action. UConn Huskies women's basketball head coach Gino Arima will be remembered as one of the most accomplished basketball coaches in history. The coach, who has won 11 national championships, achieved unprecedented success through his outspoken nature. Orima is known for his candid communication, whether with his players, coaching staff, or the media. While his opinions may not always align with the women's basketball fanbase, he expressed his thoughts on Indiana Fever player Caitlin Clark's rookie season during an episode of The Dan Patrick Show on June 6. Despite some of his initial takes not aging well, Orima continued to share his views on Clark in a recent episode of the Make a Difference with Phil Martelli podcast. I believe Caitlin Clark's unique people skills are a key aspect of her identity, remarked Orima. She has a strong ability to build connections with others, and others are drawn to her in return. Now she communicates assertively on the court, remarked Clark. When discussing the WNBA, the question often arises, why are these individuals criticizing Caitlin Clark? This is due to her outspoken nature on the court. Her proficiency is what sets her apart. She is not portrayed as an angel while others mistreat her. No, she has a lot to express. This statement appears to conflict with a comment made by Arima on The Dan Patrick Show, in which he mentioned that Clark is being singled out by her WNBA colleagues. If you're a WNBA player, you will announce, I will now deliver a statement focused on a specific audience or goal, subjected to scrutiny from society, judged by her appearance, scrutinized for her reputation, and facing the disrespect shown by some towards the WNBA, this individual carries a significant burden of criticism, he explained. Perhaps Clark's verbal insults are another factor leading Arima to believe she is being targeted, but his failure to address this initially has garnered attention from her fanbase. Women's basketball has now claimed a significant position in American sports and culture like never before. The rise of exceptional talents like Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and Paige Bookers has expanded the audience of NCAA women's basketball, with Clark and Reese making significant impacts as rookies in the 2024 WNBA season. The future growth of women's basketball hinges on its ability to sustain interest and engagement from fans, a challenge facing both the NCAA and WNBA. A player of Clark's caliber is not just any ordinary player, a player of Booker's talent deserves strong competition. Is Star Supply able to meet the demand for fan entertainment? Gino Arima, the renowned coach of the UConn Huskies women's basketball team, thinks that this is just the start, despite Clark's achievement as the Rookie of the Year for the Indiana Fever and Bookers preparing to join the WNBA in 2025. Arima, along with other head coaches and basketball authorities, must continue nurturing these players to further advance the women's game. Simply relying on one player like Caitlin Clark will not be sufficient to propel the sport to where it needs to be. As for page bookers, according to Arima on the Make a Difference podcast, it is not. They provide guidance, demonstrate possibilities, and it is now up to the operators to maximize on these opportunities. The 2024 WNBA season made history with record-breaking viewership during the finals and attendance numbers, as Clark made her debut in the league. A new television rights agreement is slated to go into effect in 2026, projecting substantial financial gains for the 27-year-old league that primarily operates during the NBA offseason. The upcoming deal is anticipated to bolster the league's financial standing. Orima is optimistic about the future as players such as Juju Watkins, Kiki Iria Fenn, Flaji Johnson, and Audi Crooks are poised to transition to the professional level in the next two to three years. Orima emphasized the importance of preparing young athletes at the high school level to ensure a strong pipeline of talent for both college and the WNBA. Thank you for tuning in. Amidst the discussions regarding Caitlin Clark's deservingness of her fame compared to her predecessors, there was a lone veteran who remained steadfast in supporting her. 
Candace Parker was undeniably one of the generational talents that paved the way for the emergence of the Iowa sensation. Setting aside any debates about senior players feeling envious of the newfound fame of the rookie, Parker stood by as a strong supporter. On the most recent episode of Bloomberg Originals, she regrets overlooking one thing before the league soared to popularity. The Rookie of the Year shared insights on the positive evolution of women's basketball throughout the years. Parker expresses regret that chartering began after his retirement, stating, I'm upset that they didn't start chartering sooner, I must admit. Our previous schedule involved playing games consecutively, followed by minimal rest before catching early morning flights to play games again the next day. I am slightly disappointed that your body was unable to catch that charter flight. The former Los Angeles Sparks player announced her retirement in April of this year. In the upcoming month, WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert announced that the league will offer full-time charter flight services to teams throughout the season. The project was anticipated to have an annual cost of approximately $25 million, with Engelbert intending to allocate $50 million over a span of two years. While Candace Parker was present as an active player when the Caitlin Clark phenomenon started, she couldn't help but feel frustrated about narrowly missing out on such a significant opportunity. Nafisa Collier stressed the importance of chartering for WNBA athletes to prioritize their health, a decision that was long overdue and advocated for by players. Reflecting on the challenges she faced during her playing days, including the struggle to find a gym due to the lack of a practice facility, Candace Parker expressed frustration about missed opportunities for improvement without the need to go overseas during the offseason. I could have gained weight and bulked up in the weight room to focus on areas of improvement. However, the former pro expressed, I feel a sense of responsibility and contribution to the current growth. Clark has certainly elevated women's basketball, but Parker's remarks suggest she did not single-handedly make the sport popular. There were predecessors who have long been present and should be acknowledged for their contributions. Nevertheless, Caitlin Clark acknowledges the presence of numerous legendary players who have set the stage before her. She performed on one of the most popular episodes of Saturday Night Live. The undrafted two-time Poi expressed gratitude to former players who paved the way for her and others like her. Special thanks to legendary players such as Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, Don Staley, and my basketball idol, Maya Moore. These are the women who broke down barriers so I could enter. The night before her WNBA draft, Clark expressed her gratitude towards those who had laid the foundation. Only three years ago, college athletes experienced a significant shift in their lives due to new NCAA regulations enacted in 2021. The use of their names, images, and likenesses for financial gain represents a significant shift in the landscape of college athletics. Caitlin Clark secured partnerships totaling $3.1 One million with renowned brands such as Nike and Gatorade. Candace Parker was on the brink of retirement before the new regulations were implemented. In the same podcast, the three-time WNBA champion expressed her desire to feel content with the current state of the league but also reflected on how different her college experience would have been if she had been able to benefit from name, image, and likeness opportunities. Consider the potential outcomes. The sole rookie to achieve both Rookie of the Year and MVP titles in 2008, Candace Parker could have made a significant impact at the University of Tennessee. However, Parker expresses contentment with the current state of the WNBA, attributing its success to players like Caitlin Clark and others who contribute to the league. I am also considering the current opportunities and evaluating the direction of the sport. I interface with many disgruntled senior individuals, but I have no desire to become one myself. Despite the absence or presence of Caitlin Clark, Parker will undoubtedly keep championing the sport she is passionate about. The inclusion of a well-known newcomer definitely attracts more attention and improves resources. After being chosen as the top pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, Caitlin Clark shared a touching moment, revealing that she was initially very emotional upon hearing the news. During her fifth appearance on the Fresh Talk podcast, Clark reunited with her former Iowa Hawkeyes teammates Kate Martin and Gabby Marshall. As a member of the Indiana Fever, Clark discussed how the initial excitement of the draft turned into frustration. Following the significant accomplishment of being selected first in the draft, Clark was swiftly escorted off the stage and separated from the event, leading to a sense of disconnection. I was promptly escorted out and missed the entire draft, shared Clark. She mentioned that, despite having her phone on hand, she was unable to fully immerse herself in the moment. It caused me great distress. I missed the opportunity to witness Kate's draft moment, which was intended to be a celebration of her career achievement and the successes of her teammates. Clark was left disappointed that she could not fully experience the excitement of the night. Now, in her initial offseason following an impressive rookie season, Clark's debut year in the WNBA was truly exceptional. 
She earned the title of 2024 Rookie of the Year from both the league and the Associated Press. Throughout the season, she maintained an impressive average of 19. 2 points, 8. 4 assists, the highest in the league, 5. 7 rebounds, and 1. 3 steals per game. Her immediate impact on the court established her as one of the most thrilling players in the league. The question now is what the star WNBA guard, Caitlin Clark, will choose to do during the offseason. Will she dedicate her time to perfecting her golf game, or will she choose to spend eight weeks in Miami competing in the newly established unrivaled league founded by Nafisa Collier and Brianna Stewart? A recent report by Front Office Sports indicated that Unrivaled is in the process of offering Clark a contract surpassing $1 million, along with additional incentives for the three-month league. While there is yet to be an official confirmation on Clark's participation in Unrivaled, the league has successfully signed several prominent players in the meantime. If Clark participates, she will be joining her Indiana Fever teammates Aaliyah Boston and Lexi Hall. She will also reconnect with her former Iowa teammate, Kate Martin, 